what's going on guys and do a quick update on the uh, app progress so as you can see we've added bitmex and coinbase to the brokers list and that brings with it the rate limiter um, for bitmex and coinbase specifically and this does not apply to binance or rwanda um, because of the way we're laying out the foundation and prerequisite for automated trading we're going to need a rate limiter to manage how many cpu cycles per hour are used up for the rest api and that's a bunch of technical jargon for basically you have so much juice per hour and every hour on the hour it resets and you get more juice and how this basically works as you can see the uh, progress bar will show you how much in percentage you have left per hour and again it resets every hour so it's not a big deal and the input field underneath it is the time in seconds it will wait but between scans so you know you scan it spits out your results and then it'll wait x number of seconds you configure here before starting a new scan and what this really does is it keeps you from over scanning and hitting the APIs too hard and busting your limit every every hour, you know. So you can kind of spread it out depending on how many pairs you're scanning. And this is something you can kind of play with and mess with. But you know, I just leave mine at a minute. It waits a minute. You don't need millisecond, you know, resolution of of candles. It, you just it's just not necessary. So yeah, two new brokers, rate limiter. You know time and seconds between scans just to keep you under the limit and this only applies to bitmex and coinbase um oh yeah time range component okay so the new time range component how this works is you have a start time and an end time and this looks and checks your local device time like i'm in the eastern standard time zone uh new york time so this will check, you know, basically looks at your device local time and says, is, is it between X and Y values? You know, your, your hour and minute from and your hour to and minute to, you know, between 8 and 10 a.m. in this example, which would be like a New York kill zone kind of time for me. And again, this is your time. You'll have to play with it and, you know, whatever, however many hours you need to add for your time zone to get it where you need to, then... You can figure that out. It's really no big deal. It's pretty simple. So again, the Forex guys especially are gonna understand why this is so powerful. Um, you know, a lot of things happen at a specific time, you know, especially like London kill zone or, I mean, even with Bitcoin, um, trading the, the daily close, you know, the hour before and the hour after the daily close around 8 p.m. Eastern Standard, you know, you've got a lot of volatility in that zone and that's a really hot zone to be trading. Um, and you can set, you know, basically a component in an algorithm to only, uh, tr only trigger if it's between this certain time, which is extremely powerful for some strategies. Again, you know, other asset class traders are gonna understand this. So something I would definitely take a look at you know, that's pretty much it for now. The graphics, I wouldn't worry about. You know, there's a reason I'm not that concerned with the graphics because it's all going to change anyway. Um, I've basically just got placeholders right now to kind of just keep keep things together. I, you know, I'll change it all at once. But once I decide, you know, you basically decide what features you want to put in it. And then you go and make it look pretty later. You put lipstick on it later. But I'm more focused on the technical programming right now and all the ui stuff will come last and it'll be great all at once so that's basically it for now bitmex coinbase rate limiter time range component